Hey, welcome back to HollywoodEditingMentor.com. My name is Joaquin Elizondo, and I'm the creator of the Hollywood Editing Mentor program. Thanks for being here. I got a quick little avid tutorial for you today. A lot of people have been asking me how I organize my bins in my projects for, uh, for scripted television. So I figured I'd just do a little a quick video post to show you how I organize uh, my projects in Avid. So let's check it out. All right, so we got good old Avid Media Composer open. Um, and so now I'm just gonna show you uh, the way I create my folders and organize all my bins. And uh, you know, this is just the way I do it. Uh, so yeah, definitely ask your editor well, you know, before you start working with them or on the first day, just, you know, ask, how do you like your, your, your project set up? Nothing complicated, you know, and, um, you know, but I'll just show you how I do it as so you get an idea what kind of, you know, how it looks. All right, I'm going to start with my first folder here and we're going to call it 00 underscore cuts because this is going to sit at the very top. Um, this is where all uh, my cuts will live. Um, so not just the current cut that I'm working on, but anything that I, any work that I've done on a, an actual cut. So like from the beginning, from like my assembly cut, and then, you know, moving on to editor's cut, uh, director's cut, producer's cut, studio cut, you know, whatever, like they're all, they're all gonna be in there. So I'll have, you know, uh, individual folders or subfolders to then that'll, uh, you know, tell you what, where each cut lives. Uh, but then I would have uh, been at the very top inside this zero zero cuts folder, where I would have the, the name of the cut, the, the date, and, and just say probably like big, you know, in capital letters, current cut, you know, so people can, so for, for first of all, myself and my assistant know that's the current cut, but also if anyone, um, say if I, if I have left for another job or, or I'm not at the office, someone can go in to my project and look in cuts and then see that that's the, the current cut. Um, so very important. Uh, okay, so then we'll go to a new folder. We'll go to zero one scenes, and this is where all the dailies, all the scene bins live, and so all the scenes will live inside this folder, organized, um, you know, uh, uh, with various bins. So each bin being for a specific scene. So you'll have a bin, the scene number, and then like a brief description um, of the scene. Um, I might also have inside this zero one scenes folder. Another subfolder that that'll say, you know, scenes to cut, so that if uh, I go in that folder, uh, I can see if there's any scenes there that I need to work on. Um, just by looking, I can see. All right, I still got two bins worth of scenes. I need to, I need to, you know, catch up, or I need to, you know, finish those scenes. Um, but that's where all your 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 dailies uh, will be organized by by scene, and then you'll see a bunch of scene bins in there. All right, so new folder will go to zero two, and this one is 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 for myself. Um, you know, just strictly like my work bin, so this, or work folder, and in here in zero two Joaquin work, I'll have everything from like you know any my favorite sound effects, my favorite you know video effects, uh, anything anything that I need to you know any elements that I need uh, f to do the work. So I just like to have them you know, like zero, like cut scenes and Joaquin work, have them together, because I'm, I'm gonna be bouncing around from those folders uh, a lot. So I usually will do, we'll have it this way, a, a, a kind of work folder uh, there close to the top. All right, then we move on to music. I'm gonna be working obviously with music a lot, so that's why I kind of have it at the top, towards the top, and inside of that folder, I'll have, you know, subfolders labeled by like where, uh, the source of the of the music. So, like, if it came from the composer, it came from the music supervisor, it came from you know wherever it came from. Um, I'll know that by just the the, the subfolders that are in there. Uh, we move on to four, and four it'll be sound effects. And this is um, you know again the way I like to organize my sound effects is is by having uh, various bins. And with a description of, of, of kind of the category, um, so for example, of the sound of sound effects. So for example, like if I have footsteps, I have door sounds, I have vehicles, I have, you know, atmospheres, interior, exteriors. I like to do it that way so that I just open that folder and I can just see. All right, I need a, you know, I need a, a door sound, so I just go to doors. Versus uh, having it just one bin or a few bins like with a bunch of like different sound effects. I personally don't like it that way. Um, I prefer, you know, uh, different categories, of, you know, of bins. 
uh, of, of different sound effects. So that's the way I do it, in, you know, inside this uh, sound effects folder. Um, okay, so moving on to number five. Um, zero five, I do stock. What is stock? Well, it, it, yeah, it's the stock footage and also include um, B-roll. You know, if, if, if like say the uh, production shot, any B-roll, you know, some establishing shots, anything, any, whatever they might shoot. Or if I grab stuff from, you know, stock footage sites, um, they'll be in there. And it also helps out not just um, myself, but like, for example, if, uh, you know, another editor needs, say, a, a stock shot, you know, and, and maybe I have a bunch that I've accumulated. And, um, you know, for my project, maybe the editor can go in there and see if there's anything that I have that might be of use to him or her. Um, so that's a, that's a good one to have. Um, helps out everyone, not just myself. Um, a zero six, I do EDR and I'll, I'll do VO because, um, it, it, you know, s some shows that I work on have voiceover. Um, and so this would go in there along with ADR. Um, so anything that would say any temp ADR that, uh, I record my assistant records, anyone in the office, any, anything, um, it would go under, 06 ADR and VO. So we move on to seven. I'll do VFX. Any any temp VFX work, whether it be done uh, by myself, my assistant in the office, any any in-house VFX work, um, or by the in-house VFX team, um, or any vendors that send over temp VFX or anything that has to do with VFX uh, would go in there pretty much. Zero uh, eight. I'll do. Graphics and this is like you know, again graphical elements, same thing as kind of the VFX idea, but it's like, it's graphics. So like any locators, like you know, if they, like I, you know, there's a, like city names or stuff like that. Any graphical elements would go under zero eight graphics. Moving on to number nine, I'll do outputs, and this is you know mostly for my assistant. Like you know, any outputs that he or she does would go in there and I mean when I was an assistant the way I would what I would do with this outputs folder is inside again break it up by subfolders um you know that 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 show you like say what kind of output was it what was it like a reference for the director was it uh, a turnover you know anything like that so at least I can go in there and see um just organize it better you see what where you you know each output went to who it went to and, and not just you open it up and there's just like tons of like, you know, um, you know, uh, bins or folders, you know. Um, so you can see like the theme here is like oh, oh, having a lot of subfolders, right? Th that, that's a good idea always because I, I don't like to just open up one folder and see tons of stuff in there. Uh, I like to organize it by category. Um, all right. So we move on to number 10. This one I'll do dailies. And this is where the the dailies for so when you get them from the Nexus, um, you or I would put them in here and under dailies, and that's kind of like where they're, they're just the raw kind of footage um, without being you know unorganized or anything. And then from there, the assistant would take them from ten dailies and then move them up to you know zero one scenes and actually be organized here by, by scene bin. But in here, you know, in their 10 dailies, um, at least I know that, that that's where if I'm missing something, can't find something, something gets, I don't know, deleted or whatever, I know that I can go back here and, and find it under, under the, the, the dailies bin. Um, all right, so let's go to, uh, well, at this point, I would, I would do, you know, I know it's like I'm jumping out of the way to 99, but um, this would be the assist um, uh, folder. And this is just kind of the assist space, the workspace. They do all their work in here, you know, and, and obviously what that's up to the assistant, how they want to uh, organize it. But in there, uh, all the assist work uh, would, would go in there. Um, I certainly had one when I was an assistant, um, and I just put it, you know, kind of, well, I put it at the bottom so it's out of the way and, you know, um, and, you know, I see assistant can have their own, uh, workspace and, you know, I have mine here at the top, just kind of separates things and it just makes it more organized. Everyone's happy. Everyone has their stuff. So everything works out. All right. So there you go. All, you know, it's pretty simple, nothing complicated. Um, the main idea is that, you know, you organize your project in a way where uh, someone can easily find 
something that they if they need to uh, without you being there. So yeah, if like if they say you or your assistant are not, not in the office and someone needs something, they could just go in there and easily find what they're looking for. Um, that's the approach uh, I take and it, it, it works. Um, and it's very efficient. Uh, also, yeah, it's like I said, I repeat, uh, this is just the way that I do it. Um, you know, it, it, no editor is the same. Um, so, you know, obviously ask um, your editor uh, before you start working or the first day of work, just simply ask, hey, how do you like your, your you know, project organized? And that's it, you know, very simple. Um, all right, so uh, thanks again uh, for uh, watching and I uh, hope it was helpful. I'm definitely gonna be doing a lot more of these uh, little tutorials in the coming weeks. So stay tuned for sure here on hollywoodeditingmentor.com. Thanks again for your support. I'll see you next time.